Kilo, I manage the Trikova. I'm in the women's football department in the federation. So my role is to control everything about the national teams and the national uh, league in Macedonia. And can you tell us a bit about your journey into women's football? I started working uh, women's football uh, in 2009. Uh, then we have um, only one uh, national league that was first, uh, only first women's national league. After that, uh, in 2010, we have a great experience. We uh, have organized the under-19 uh, final tournament here in Macedonia. So we have one uh, very big and great experience because we have the best uh, under-19 teams here, eight, eight teams in Macedonia. So um, after that, uh, I'm still working in the Federation since then and uh, I'm responsible for all activities of the women's uh, football in our country. National League, national uh, teams, uh, co women coaches and stuff. So everything was connected with women's football. Lots, lots to do then. Yes. Um, you just launched your new strategy for the women's football. Um, can you tell us about it and what it's aiming to achieve? Well, for the first time, uh, and we are very proud of it, we launched our women's strategy. Uh, separate for, from the strategy of our federation general for the football. Uh, the launching was on the uh, 8th of March uh, this year on the Women's Day. So we were very, very proud. Uh, the event was uh, excellent. Um, we have um, invited a lot of uh, guests uh, from football uh, generally on that event. Um, we have support uh, and also on the event was uh, the ambassador of um, of uh, America in our country, uh, also uh, our head coach Vlad Kondonovsky, who is uh, working and he's a head coach of the a national American team, was uh, also giving a live interview on the on that uh, event. Um, the the event was excellent, so we have uh, good aims in that uh, strategy and. Um, all um, our leadership at the Federation is behind this strategy. We have big, big support and uh, this, we know that this is very big commitment, but uh, all together we will do everything that we can to provide the, the best uh, uh, to, to, to go the women's football uh, straight ahead and to make the football sport number one for girls and women in our country. And can you tell me a bit about the history of the women's game internationally, especially because it's pretty internationally, new? Internationally, uh, we start playing international matches in 2003-2004 with our youth under-17 and under-19 national teams. The first international uh, match of our A women's national team was 2005. Our national league start um, in the season 2002, uh, only first women league, so uh, this year, for the first time, we have a second national league. And a couple of years ago, which we, uh, we start with uh, also with the youth leagues. We have two youth leagues. Um, in fact, that they are participating the clubs from the first and second leagues with their youth players. So um, we are running now four national leagues. So uh, in the first league, we have very good matches because we have 12 teams. So eight of the teams are on the in the top eight of the, of, you know, every match is interesting. So uh, it's nice to have more leagues. So, you know, it's it's better and, and very well. It's more progress going through as well. Yes, yes, of course. Um, and uh, in your strategies, one of your aim is about growing participation in the sport. Can you talk about the ways you're um, trying to improve the accessibility of it for young girls? Yeah, uh, we are trying uh, with a lot of projects. Uh, we have done uh, a lot of until now uh, with a lot of grassroots projects. And uh, especially this year, we have started uh, with a project for schools, uh, uh, football in schools. So this year is the first time when we start with, us, with this, but uh, only for girls. Uh, until now, we have only girls and boys together. Now we are starting also only for girls. So this will be our first step to, to recruit the young uh, girls uh, in, in the primary school to start uh, love the football at first place and after that to, to continue to play. Sure. 
And um, you also, there's a focus on growing the domestic game, as you were just talking about. Yeah. Um, do you view having a competitive and strong league as really crucial to the sport? Yes, as I said, uh, our first league this year was very, and also the last year, was very competitive and strong. Strong. That's why we we decide to to start with our second national league this year because uh, there are too many clubs, so they they can't every, everyone can't play in the first division. And uh, yes, the, the couple of years uh, ago, it's a, the, the first league especially, it's a very strong and competitive. Sure, and um, for the national team, what are the immediate goals on the world stage? Well, of course, one of the big events, uh, European Championship and stuff, but we will go step by step for this. Uh, first, we need to, uh, to get stronger our youth teams, for example, our under national uh, 19 team for the first time this season. Um, they have a uh, first round tournament in uh, Belarus, so they get uh, on the second place. That has never happened in the youth teams until now. So I was very proud of this, uh, this result. At the moment, they are in Slovenia and playing the second round of, the, of this competition. Uh, Yesterday we, we have played with uh, Liechtenstein, so we got to win. So we expect to win on the, the other two matches there uh, to the end of this week. And uh, first we, we need to get stronger, the youth teams. Uh, our, our national teams, uh, players are very young, especially in the A national team. We have, uh, let's say, uh, the ye average um, years are uh, 24, 25 maybe. You know, they are very young players. So I think so that in a couple of years, uh, if we go step by step through our strategy for women's football, we can do, do it uh, one big event, a European Championship and something like that, like the men's team. And um, you're the captain of the national team, Andanova. Uh, she's played all over Europe as well. Got yes. That experience. How helpful yes. is that bringing it back to this group of players? We are very proud of our players, Sandonova. Uh, we have um, a couple of uh, players, other who are playing in the in the Europe in good good clubs. For example, we have uh, Gentiana Rochi who is playing in uh, Kuopio. Uh, she's uh, also running good results. Uh, she was play uh, player of the year of the championship. She also have uh, all this. Uh, these qualities like Andonova. Uh, we are using these players, especially when we have, um, uh, let's say, for in this moment, our three women's under uh, national teams uh, are here. Uh, they are playing tournaments, so we use this a couple of days to get closer, to see what the, uh, they can expect in the career. When we have events or, I don't know, some programs, uh, uh, through UEFA and FIFA, when we we need to bring uh, a role model, we of course bring them because they are our best players. Uh, not in all, only in our country, through Europe, of course. So we 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 give them the everything that that they need to have this success, and of course we are using like a role model. Uh, for example, now on the on the event on the promotion. Uh, promotion of the strategy we we have filmed one video when our best players were there our best women coaches our best women referees so we use all of them for this promotion materials and stuff it's a at home we say if you can't see it you can't be it and that's kind of the, yes. the idea behind that yes that's true inspiration um, when you look at the growth of the sport across Europe and the world I mean in the last week in the Champions League we had massive crowds throughout does that give you real hope in that you can achieve these goals? Of course, of course. That are pretty good events and everything. If you only uh, sit there and just uh, see them, you got the inspiration. But when you work here, you have more and more inspiration to do that. For sure. And um, uh, obviously the men got one step away from the FIFA World Cup. Uh, do you feel that their recent success can also have an effect on the women's side in terms of getting people Yes, of course. Um, football is a, is a good sport and very popular around the world. Uh, in our country, lately, uh, I can say that the men's football in the men's sport is a sport number one uh, in our country with these results that we have now. Um, we have full stadiums for these matches. We have uh, a lot of people go to watch our national team around the world and everything. 
they they have amazing season. Uh, we are very sorry that we don't go to the to the final, but uh, that is the sport. We got beat Italy, we got beat uh, Germany, and that is very very uh, inspirative, and uh, we are very happy for these results. And for sure, I hope that one day we will have these results with the women's teams. And um, as at, here on Friday, you host um, England. How excited are you for this game? Well, uh, if we say of uh, the football um, game, we are not very excited now. <laughs> uh, because in the last match, uh, when we play in uh, England, uh, the result was uh, very bad for us. Uh, I hope that our players will, uh, will have a good match, to enjoy the match. Uh, take uh, some uh, new experience for this match. As I said, our team is very young, so I sold now the English team on the training session. You can see the difference uh, immediately, but I think so that they will enjoy this match. Uh, uh, these matches are good also for experience and growth of the, of the uh, players, so I hope that they will take the best of it and they will not look at the result. Um, but anyway, I hope for the good result. <laughs> From that first leg in England, do you feel that they learned a lot, the players? Uh, well, uh, of course, yes. Uh, every match is a, is an experience. Yeah. And do you, these FIFA World Cup qualifiers as, as a whole? You obviously get to play England and Austria and different different styles of football. To, to yes, we teams. have uh, good uh, teams here: England, North of uh, Ireland, also Austria. They're very good teams, uh, so um, as I said, our players are young, these are more experienced players, but uh, we just have, to, in this uh, qualification, was uh, our aim was to beat Luxembourg and Latvia uh, at the start, for sure. We, I hope that on the end we will have uh, three matches win, so that was our aim for this qualification because we know the, the quality of the other teams and we are aware of that. Yeah. But it's important to play in these games of for course, the development. Of course, of course, of course.